Okay, uh, this working? Okay, uh, hello everybody. This Hala monster. Yes, yes, me here today at Princeton Jewish Center. Yes, me love TJC. We're going to see what's going on today. Come. I'm definitely not ready for the holidays yet. Did someone say holiday? Hey, Hala Monster. Oh, hello, Rabbi Feldman. It's so good to see you. Oh, good to see you. Uh, what that? What? What you doing, Rabbi Feldman? This is a shofar. A I'm show what? A shofar. I'm practicing to get ready for the holidays. What holiday? Rosh Hashanah is coming. Rosh Hashanah? It's a lot of fun. What that mean? It's the beginning of the new year. Oh, Rabbi Feldman, me no. New Year's, big balls are up, me stay up late, big pots and pads, you know. Well, that is, one, secret. that is one new year. That's in December, New Year's Eve. This is Rosh Hashanah, the beginning of the Jewish New Year. Oh. So we eat apples and honey. Eat? And we blow the shofar to wake us up to start the new year. That shofar really going to wake everybody up. So there's a lot of things we can do to get ready for the new year. We could practice our shofar. We could prepare our foods. Or I should tell you about a very special book we use on the holidays called a machsor. Oh. You want to come with me to my office and I'll show you the machsor? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay, come. Let's go. You. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Hey, Hala Monster, I'm glad you're here. Oh, yes, thank you for having me. So I'm just sitting here getting ready for the holidays. You saw the shofar. Mm -hmm. I had my books preparing the service, different readings and things. But this was that really special book I was telling you about. It's called a machzor. Machzor. That's a tough word, but you can do it. It's kind of like the same ch from Hala Monster mm -hmm. and machzor. Yes, me love letter chet. <laughs> so this is the book we use on the high holidays. It has all our special prayers in the Hebrew and in the English, and it's got readings and explanations, and it helps us sing the service and listen to the Chazan. You know the Chazan Dolkin? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe heard of her once. <laughs> so she say, leads us in singing, and it's lots of great things in the Machzor. Oh, I'm sure congregation will find book Machzor very inspirational. And another thing we do on the High Holidays, some people wear special clothes. Sometimes we wear white. Or get a new talus or a new outfit or that beautiful new talus clip that I see that you have. Thank you. I love that talus clip. Oh, Rabbi Feldman, me have questions. Yes, Hala Monster. How you get in mood for high holiday? Well, I like to think about what's to come in the new year. And I think about the meanings of some of our prayers and the shofar and the singing, all those things. But I have actually a special secret that I like to do to get ready. Ooh, tell me secret, tell I, me secret. I have two foods I really like to eat. Ooh, food. I like eating apples and honey to make it a sweet new year, but here's the secret. A special Rosh Hashanah challah. Oh, Rabbi Feldman, you keep challah in that drawer? Oh, me no can wait. Well, first I want you to see, see how it's round? It doesn't look like the challah you see during the year, right? It's round. And it's got pretty braids and nice colors. Okay. It really smells good. Do you want to, you want yes, to smell? Yes, please. Oh, no. Just smell. Oh. Just smell. Oh. <laughs> and it's round like a, like a crown. See, it would fit right on your head oh, like a nice crown. Delicious crown. It is okay. delicious. But we're not going to eat it yet. We have to wait till we get a little closer to Rosh Hashanah. Okay. What but else do you do to get in mood? Right? How about apples and honey? Can I take oh. you to the kitchen? I'll show you how we do apples oh. and honey for Rosh Hashanah. Sound good to me. So here we are in the kitchen getting ready for Rosh Hashanah. Where's Hala Monster? Oh, there you are, Hala Monster. Oh. Glad you're here. Hi again. Rob so, Feldman. remember I was telling you about apples and honey? Because mm -hmm. it's a sweet new year. Apples are always yummy to eat and good to eat. But in Rosh Hashanah, we put honey on our apples too. Mm -hmm. Because the apple is sweet and the honey is sweet. And then it becomes a sweet, healthy, good new year. Ooh. Rabbi Feldman, 
we just have something to say to you. Yes, what's you, that, Thomas? Rabbi Feldman, you are super soft. You go shofar, you read out of machzor, you write sermon, and you even in kitchen preparing apple and honey. Oh, and you have done all that in your bed. Super soft. Thank you, Hollow Monster. But I think you're a superstar, too. Oh. You know, everybody can be a superstar. And that's one of the great things about apples and honey. Because if you cut the apple the right way, if you cut it in half, look what's inside. There's a star. Ooh. That's the superstar. Just like inside you, Hollow Monster, there's a star waiting to come out. And maybe that's one of the things we can do this year. Let our own stars shine and help other stars shine. Then it'll be a bright, sweet, great new year. Happy New Year, Hala Monster. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. There's lots to love about Rosh Hashanah this year. So whether you love the shofar, the apples and honey, or the Hala, we know you're going to have a great time with us here at the Jewish Center. Join me for a very special family service, first day of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, right here in the sanctuary. So from me, Hazan Dolkin. From Rabbi Feldman. And me, Hala Monster. And all your friends here at the Jewish Center, we wish you a Shana Tova. Have a great new year.